and welcome back to my channel. So today I have got a massive drugstore haul for you. If you don't know, I just started Discount June with Style Haul and tons of other YouTubers on here. And if you want to check all of them out, I will link them below. But this tag is one that I created to basically try out new drugstore makeup and bring it to you guys. And what that means, what Discount June is, is it is an entire month of drugstore only makeup. So I have got a massive haul and it's in a Target bag, but it's not all from Target, it's kind of from all over the place. So let's go ahead and get started because I've got about four million things to show you. So the first thing that I, oh my gosh, I forgot how much was in here. The first thing that I picked up is the Sonia Kashuk A Kiss on the Cheek and Lip Palette. And they are cream blushes that you can use on lips or cheeks. And you can see there's like a really pretty bright coral, a bright pink, kind of a reddish plum and like a more true plum there. And it comes in a palette like, let's see if I can just, oh, that was really easy to take out. Let's do that. Just to show you guys. That's what they look like. And they're really, really pretty. I'm going to use them in a tutorial, don't worry. But I love this. It's really compact, but it has a variety of colors. And I'm excited to see what the pigmentation on those is going to be like. So that's the first thing that I got. I'm just going to put everything back there. Okay, second thing I got is from Pixie, and it is called the Eye Glow Cube. And this, this is the packaging, and it just really intrigued me. And the colors looked beautiful. Let's open this. This is the packaging it comes in. I actually really like the lime green kind of retro packaging that Pixie does. I think it's really cool. You can get Pixie at Target, by the way. Ooh, they are so pretty. Look at those colors. So nice. Let's see if you guys can see that up close. So yeah, they looked really, really pretty and definitely be doing a tutorial with these as well. Okay, so then the next thing that I picked up were some Garnier Nutrice uh, Refreshing Remover Cleansing Towelettes. These are just makeup removing wipes. I really like makeup removing wipes and so I thought I'd try those. I've actually never tried them before and I just needed a new one. Then they were on sale, so that's why I picked those up. And then I got quite a few different foundations because I've tried a decent amount of drugstore foundations, but not all of them. And of course it's hard to try all of them, but... But this month, I'm trying to try as much stuff as I possibly can. So first, I got the Wet n Wild Coverall Cream Foundation, and this shade is in um, medium tan 820. I think it's going to match me pretty well. It's medium to full coverage, satin matte finish, all day wear, blah, blah, blah. We're going to do a, a review of this. Don't worry. Um, I'm going to do a review of all my foundations that I bought, actually. I also got the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Eraser Treatment Makeup and the Dark Circle Concealer, I've used this, love it, wearing it now, haven't tried this, we're going to do a review of both of those though. And my shade in the concealer is medium, and in the foundation it is 260 buff. So, don't worry, reviews on all the foundations like I said, because foundations are like my favorite thing to review. Um, and then I got the new Revlon, new complexion makeup, and this is in natural beige, and it's a compact, and it's a cream makeup. And it looks very interesting. I've stuck my finger in it. Uh, but I really kind of like the way this looked. And I looked and I wanted to see how that applied and what it does. And then the other foundation I got from Revlon is one that I've been wanting to try for a long time. And it's the Color Stay Whipped Foundation. It's cream makeup in true beige. And it's kind of like a moussey texture, I believe. So super excited to check out all of those. I think that's it for foundations. Yes, I believe so. Okay, let's move on to cheeks. So I got a blush by NYC. It's called Central Park Pink 655. When I was starting this tag, I realized that I don't really have very many drugstore blushes at all. Um, I have like a lot of NYX, but I wanted to try uh, like real drugstore because you can't buy NYX in stores. It's all, all online. So I picked this one up from NYC. It's kind of like a peachy pink, and I thought it looked pretty. So I grabbed that, and then I got... Is that the only blush I bought? I think it is the only blush, yeah. So then for eyes, I got a bunch of different kind of eyeshadows. I got an e.l.f. eyeshadow in Burnt Plum, which is, it's a baked eyeshadow for one. And it's just a plummy color. It looks really pretty. So I got that. And then Melissa, or Mel MPHS, raved about the Iman eyeshadows. And it is a collection for African Americans. And... Um, but because Mel swatched these and they looked so beautiful, there was no way that I could pass these up. So the first one I got is Pewter, and it's like a grayish color. And then the second one I got a Duo, and this is the Duo in Bejeweled. And it's like an orange and a purple. And it was really intriguing to me, so, um, I picked one of those up. And I thought I got one more that might be hiding down in here. 
I don't see it right away. So we're just going to move on to other eyeshadows. So I got two eyeshadows from CoverGirl, and I actually need to pick up some more eyeshadows. I really like the Wet n Wild ones from the drugstore, but I got this one from CoverGirl. It is called Golden Sunrise. And it's just a really pretty gold. And then I got this one too. And it is called uh, Pink Chiffon. And it's just like a pink. Pink and a gold. So I picked both of those up. And then, oh, here's the other Iman eyeshadow. And this one looks really pretty. You just see if I can get it out of the box. It's just a cream color with a little bit of shimmer to it. And this one is called White Gold. Oh, that's such an appropriate color for that. That's going to be an awesome inner corner highlight. It's going to be really nice. Okay, so got that. Wow, this packaging is actually super hard to screw on here. Come on. Okay. Okay, so then I picked up a couple different eye products from Milani. I was really excited to try their new shadow eyes, and I got three colors, I think. There's one in here I know that's hiding for me. There we go. So I got purple, a bronze, and a blue. Now the blue is called Aquatic Style. Then we have Royal Purple. And the last one is called, what is this called? Brown Deluxe. Let's call it like bronze or something. So I will swatch these for you guys really quick. They, because they are so creamy and pigmented and amazing. Oh my gosh, these are great eyeshadow bases. They stay on so well. Definitely going to be in a tutorial this month. How pretty are those? So yeah, I picked up those. And then... I got, let's see here, is that it for eyes? Oh no, I got some eyeliners. So I got two Milani eyeliners. I got Ultra Fine Liquid Liners in Black Vinyl and Prismatic Purple. And I will swatch these for you as well. So they have a pretty stiff tip. Um, the color looks pretty opaque for the purple. Let's see how the black is. Oh, the black is very opaque. Take a look at these. Really nice. Looking good, looking good. I'm excited about using those too. So I have four more eye products and I got some more of the L'Oreal Infallible Shadows because they have, it was a new collection and I got um, uh, Endless Sea, turquoise color. I love this one, it's a plum. Glistening Garnet, oh gosh that's so pretty. It's like a plummy pink. Cherie Marie. And it's, oh my god, it's an awesome coral. I can't wait to use this. And this one I'm so excited about, Strawberry Blonde. And it is just a pink, opal, gorgeous, frosty color. It's going to be awesome. And then I got um, a new concealer. I meant to mention this before, but I got picked up a new Revlon Photo Ready. I've tried this a lot and I love it. I just got the shade medium because I needed one and a little darker color because I'm a bit tanner now. Yay, summer. And um, so I picked that up too. And now let's move on to lips. So I got a lot of lip products, three of which are Milani. So I got three new Milani colors. I got a Fruit Punch, which is a pretty um, medium pink. Amazing. I'm not going to swatch all the lip colors, but I'll swatch a few for you guys. Because these are so pigmented and awesome. Flirty Fuchsia. And this one looks like that. And then the last one is the one I'm wearing now, and it is my favorite, Flamingo Rose. Po oh, Flamingo Pose, sorry. And it looks like that, and it's kind of a bright pinky coral right there. And the Milani lipsticks, these are amazing. I can't believe I haven't ever tried these before. They are so, so good. If you haven't checked these out, you've got to go and do it. They're amazing. And then I got two, did I get two of these? Yeah, so I got two of the new... Uh, Smoochie's Lip Slicks uh, Lip Balms by CoverGirl. And the first one I got is this brown one, and it is called... Oh, it's called Only You. Sorry. And I'll swatch this right here. And it's kind of like a brown balm right there. And then the second one I got is more of like a lilac-y pink color. And this one is called See You Later. And it's just kind of frosty lilac. Right there, if you guys can see it. It's super, super sheer. But anyway, these are nice like lip balms to give you a little bit of color. And so far, I actually really like those. And then I got a ton of lipsticks from Rimmel because I love, 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 love Rimmel lipsticks. And I don't own a lot because it's a month of drugstore makeup. I wanted to get more. So I got the cake collection. I went a little nuts though. And I got like, I felt like I got every single lipstick from the cake collection. Um, but anyway, so the first one 
is called, uh, oh, they're just numbers, so 103, look how creamy that is, it's so creamy and amazing, so we have 103, 113, which is a beautiful nude, and it comes off like that, very peachy, peachy nude right there, then we have 105, which is this third one. It's like a, uh, it's kind of like a little bit lighter than matte cream in your coffee. It's like a brownie plum. Oh, this one's amazing. 109 is like a deeper coral. It's not quite as like bright coral. It's like just a little bit more red in it. There's that one there. Then 110, which is amazing bright pink coral. You'll be able to see the difference in the corals here. Right there, that is 110. And then I have 111, which is the most beautiful, amazing red. Right here. And then, last but not least, 107, which is a deep burgundy garnet red. Plum kind of color. And that one looks like this. So those are all the Kate lipsticks that I got. Um, and then, oh, no, I have one more. It is the black collection though. Those are the Velvet Touch and this one is 10 and this is the one that she's wearing in all of her ads. And it's right there. And it's just a beautiful red. Okay, now that is actually it for the Kate lipstick. I got a, a couple other lip products. So I got two lip glosses from Sonia Kashuk. The first one is called Prettiest Pink. And the second one is called, um, what's this one called? Shine Luxe Sheer Lip Color, and the shade is, wow, Sheer Melon. And the, it's that color down there. It kind of reminded me of NARS Orgasm. It's like a peachy, corally pink. Um, and then I also got an Alme lip, what are their new lip balm things? What are they called? Uh, what are these called exactly? liquid lip balms and this color I thought was amazing I'm actually gonna swatch it because I'm excited to see and this color is called apricot yeah let's swatch this and see what it looks like <gasps> look that is it right there how pretty is that I bet it would look nice on what top of what I'm wearing Wow, I love that. Can you guys see? That is amazing and so pigmented and beautiful. Holy cow. Okay, I got a few different nail polishes. So I got almost all the Revlon Chroma Chameleon Collection colors. And I got, uh, let's see if I can see the shades on here. Rose Gold. That does not look like Rose Gold at all. Uh, Amethyst is this one. And then the la this one should be called Rose Gold. Pink Quartz, that suits it too. So we got these three nail polishes from Revlon. I got two of the Rimmel 60 Second um, nail lacquers. And the first one is this really awesome mint color. And it is called uh, Mintalicious. And the second one is the one I'm wearing right now. And that is called Hot Chili Pepper. And I love these. They re they're really nice. They dry really quickly. Okay, we're almost done. Then I got this nail polish from Pixie, Pixie that's amazing. Vivid Coral. I cannot wait to wear this. I kind of wish I was wearing it right now. But it is neon pink. It's awesome. I don't know why they called it Vivid Coral. It is just a vivid pink, bright pink. And then I also picked this up from Hard Candy and it's called Crush on Raisin. And it is kind of like a glitter purple gold. Then three Sally Hansen Sugar Coat nail polishes because these looked amazing. The first is Sour Apple. Then I have Cotton Candy, Cotton Candies, and Razzleberry. And these are so cool and cute. I love them. I love them. And that's it for this massive drugstore haul. It's been so long uh, that you guys have been watching this video. So to those of you who stuck around to the end, thank you so much. Thumbs up this video if you like hauls and if you like discounting so far. Stay tuned. I'm going to have hopefully another video coming tomorrow. If not, it will definitely be up on Thursday. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.